Nice to have you again, my friends, here on Will EduTech. And in this video, we're going to be looking at question 2C on the CSEC Math Exam Pass paper, January 2012. And this question usually fall under the general topic of algebra on the syllabus. And to be more specific, it's a worded problem where we're given some where we're given a situation or a scenario and we're asked to write algebraic expressions based on the situations that we were given that we, that that's presented in front of us here rather. OK, now this question is about some tickets sold so here i chose to insert a visual to make the lesson a bit more appealing okay so here i have some of my tickets here so let's quickly let's get into it uh in this lesson they're saying that tickets for a football match are sold at 30 dollars for each adult and 15 dollars for each child a company bought 28 tickets now in part one they're saying if x of these tickets were for adults we are required to write in terms of x Part A, the number of tickets for children. Now, that's an easy one, Mark. Let's just quickly get into that. However, let me just split the screen a bit. Now, there we have it, my friends. Now, if if X of these tickets, as they have stated, uh, were for adults, and they're asking us to write in terms of X, the number of tickets for children, then um, let's just look at the basic concept behind this first, okay? Before we even get into writing the expression, just want to express a general idea so that you are a bit more clear as to what's happening. Uh, they gave us a total amount of tickets, right? And here, let me just underline that in white. Okay, here they gave us the total amount of tickets. And we, we know that they there were 20, 28 tickets that was uh, distributed, yeah? Now, they're saying the adult, the amount of tickets, if X of these tickets were for adults, so basically what they're saying, adults got X amount of the tickets, or adults got a certain amount of these 28 tickets. We don't know how many uh, that add up to, okay? But, but let's just put, a, a, a value for x just for argument's sake let's just play with this a bit okay um let's say adults got 10 tickets for for example we are not saying this is a situation all right but let's just say to figure this out to make this part one a bit more clearer let's say adults got 10 tickets and we are asked now to find the number of tickets that that uh the children received then we would have to say the total amount which is 28 my friends total amount which is 28 and to find out how how many tickets the children receive we would have to subtract the amount that the adults received okay and we would be left with 18 uh, i hope that makes sense all right the total amount for the for the children and we subtract the adults amount and the, the remain sorry the total amount of tickets rather and the amount that the adults receive we would subtract that from the total amount of tickets and the remainder would be for the children what the children would have received all right hope that makes some sense now but in this situation now it's a little bit different they're asking us to write an expression so for part one now since they didn't give us a value for the amount of tickets the adult received they just said that if the adults if x tickets if the adults receive x amount of tickets uh write an expression for the amount the children would have received now what we would have to do it's the same thing but we would have to say 28 okay and since the adults amount v came up to x then we would have to just subtract x from that now whatever x is when you subtract x from that the remainder would be for the the children okay and i'm not saying that the, the children receive 18 here i'm just using this as an example okay my friends we would have to work that out later now in part two they're saying sorry part b they're saying the amount spent on tickets for adults now the amount that was spent on tickets from adults um let me just label here part two so this is my let me change the color so in part two now they want to find the amount spent on tickets for adults now let's go back to the original statement they said that the adults got x amount of tickets so the amount the adults got what came up to x amount we don't know what x is however they said that tickets for a football match are sold at 30 dollars and let me just put this in a little box 30 dollars for each adult so if adults got 
X amount and each ticket is sold for $30, then this should be 30 times X, 30 times the amount that they got, okay? So we would need to get the amount, it would be 30 times X. We need 30 sets of X's, okay? That's just simply. So that's part two, 30 X would be that expression. So let's move on to, well, this would be part A and part B. Let me just change that. So my friends, there we have adjusted it, part one, and this is part A and part B. Now let's move on to part C. Now in part C, they're asking us uh, the amount, to write an expression for the amount spent on tickets for children. Now if we have the amount of tickets that the children had received, for example in part A, and for that we got 28 minus x okay that's the amount of tickets that the kids receive and here now in part let me just underline that let me just change the color here now they said that and fifteen dollars here this fifteen dollars here uh each each child's ticket costs fifteen dollars so basically if we have the amount of tickets that the children received here which is 28 minus x then for each ticket is fifteen dollars then we would have to multiply that by 15 and it's pretty much that easy guys so that's the expression that represents the amount spent on tickets for children and and those are easy three marks so let's move uh in part two now they're asking us to show show that the total amount spent on the, t the 28 tickets is 15x plus, tw plus 420. So for part two, let me just make a note there. They're saying now to show, we are to show this expression. So basically what they're asking, based on what we have derived so far, based on what we have come up with so far, we are going to show that it when we calculate it or simplify it or expression it should come to this now since they are dealing with the total amount spent on tickets now we are just going to be taking up the values uh, that we spent on the tickets for example in part b we spent thirty dollars on each adult ticket so thirty x plus and in part two we spent fifteen times twenty eight minus x which would be the amount for each child's ticket okay so all we have to do basically here is to simplify this expression so here I would have a 30x let me just take back that down and if you notice 15 is multiplying whatsoever is inside the bracket so basically you're just going to expand this bracket by saying 15 times 28 and 15 times 28 would give us a 420 so let's quickly make a note of that so this is plus 400 and 20 okay my friends and then we have a 15 times a negative x would give us a negative 15 x okay so there we have it so let's just finish simplifying our or let's group like terms rather let's call it them we have a 30 x minus a 15 x okay and we are adding 420 to that we're adding 420 to that. So we have left here 30x minus 15x would leave us with a 15x. And we're adding 420. So this here, this here, our answer would represent the total amount spent on. And let me just put a green dollar sign there. Okay, that's my green dollar sign. This is the amount. And if you notice, that's what we end up with here. Okay, my friends. So we have proved or we have showed when we add the expressions that represented the amount of money spent on these tickets we came up back with our 15x plus 420 now, now let's just pull this up a bit and calculate part three my friends now in part three they are state they gave us a statement here now they're saying given that given that the cost of the 28 tickets was six hundred and sixty dollars we are asked to calculate the number of adult tickets bought by the company. And that's another easy two marks. Now quickly, let's get into that. If you realize, they have given us the total amount in terms of money value. Okay, the total amount in terms of money value is 660. However, if you notice in the previous part, in part two, they ask us to show that the total amount spent. So this expression that we had derived here, this expression for our answer here, okay, in part two, this represents the total money spent. And since they gave us a dollar value now, we can just simply say in part three, we're just taking our 15 
x plus 420 and we're going to just simply equate that let me just change that a bit I think that's not clear so let me just say 420 and we're just simply going to equate that to our 660 and I hope hopefully that makes sense because if this is the expression that represents the total amount of money that we spend but here now they are they have given us the actual value of that then these two these two well this expression that we have here and this amount they simply are the same okay now let's just transpose and solve for x now if you notice 420 is being added to 15x okay so to take it across it simply means i must subtract 420 from both sides so i'm going to say 15x plus 420 and then i have to subtract 420 from both sides okay and that is equal to 660 minus 420 420 okay let me just pull this over a bit so we can have a little bit more space to work with okay good now basically what we are saying here a positive will cancel out with a negative 420 okay so i'm left with 15x is equal to and 660 minus 420 will leave us with a 240 okay so 15 is multiplying x so it simply means i must divide through by 15 so 15 would cancel out with 15 and here i have a 15 there so i would be left with x on my left hand side and x would be equal to 15 into itself goes once and 15 into 240 goes 16 times okay so the company if x represents the amount of tickets in part one up here that that the, that represents the amount of tickets for adults then obviously the company would have bought a total of 16 adult tickets okay and that's our answer now my friends another important thing to note when working with worded problems okay is that after you have finished calculating the value of whatever they're asking us asking you to calculate you should always present your answers in words you shouldn't leave it just like this x is equal to 16 and that's your answer because you're given a worded problem when given a worded problem after completing your calculations you state your answer in words so for example just as i have it here the company bought 16 adult tickets as simple as that just a simple statement all right and that's it uh feel free to subscribe to this channel so you can get the latest updates from our videos okay or even liking us on facebook all right take care and wish you all the best in your exams. Bye-bye.